I'm Christina Howarn and I'm on the Queensway and I'm right across the street from a constituency office for the local MPP. But check it out because right behind me is one of the city's holistic centers and according to a new report by the city's Auditor General, at least one in four of these places are actually offering sexual services and they say the city's bylaw team can do very little to stop it. Bylaws that we do have don't work. So we're asking our bylaw officers and, and the director of, of MLS to enforce things uh, without the right tools, and that's not fair to them. Etobicoke Councillor Justin DiCiano is echoing the Auditor General. The report found that half of the city's 400 holistic centres have been charged with bylaw infractions, and many of those are for actions seemingly related to the sex trade. This is a, a trade that's been going on for thousands of years. It's not going to stop. Um, so why do we want to pretend that it's something, you know, we don't want to deal with? We have to deal with it. And if we don't, we're going to continue to see in residential pockets across the city operations like this. This being sensual erotic massages, sometimes offering oral sex and even sexual intercourse. Not only at the city's 25 licensed body rub parlors, but at over 100 so-called holistic spas in all corners of the city. While the Auditor General found that about a quarter of these spas were offering unauthorized services, when City News looked into it, we discovered several more, signified by the purple markers on your screen. DiCiano believes the major cause is the city's cap on body rub parlors. You know, they can't get a license for a massage parlor, so they go under the guise of a holistic center, and they do what they do behind closed blinds. So. But they do this right next to a home? Yep. Across the street from an ice cream place. Yep. From a, yep. a very popular Italian restaurant. Yep. And just surrounded by homes. And if we gave them the license to operate as a massage parlor, uh, they would have to move because they don't have the zoning here. So they would be incentivized to, to get out of here and go into an area that is away from this type of stuff, an area that would be more appropriate. There are strict rules for where body rub parlors can set up shop, and attendants are screened not only for their criminal records, but also communicable diseases. Holistic care practitioners are not. DiCiano says he's going to put forward a motion to re-examine and increase the cap on body rub parlor licenses, a move he hopes will push holistic centers out of residential neighborhoods. Of course it's going to be controversial, but it's, it, it has to be talked about. I mean, we have to look at it um, and say, why are, why are operators running holistic centers in a way that they shouldn't be? Now, the city's licensing department says it plans on addressing this issue when it conducts a review of its entire operations next summer. In the meantime, head to citynews.ca where you can track these shops and see just how popular they are or aren't in your neighborhood. On the Queensway, Christina Howard, City News.